Let's see, are you guys friend or foe? All right, let's uh, leave Lydia. I don't really want to. I don't really want to get into it. I was just looking to see if you guys were friendly or not. I guess they're not. Still here. What's on your mind? Actually, the luggage I left in Dragon's Reach. Uh, one of the things I noticed in yesterday's gameplay. Um, it's actually after a while. River Watch Hot Springs. Do I gotta go this way? Oh, good grief. I need to go down this way, game. What, why am I doing up here? In, uh, what I noticed in yesterday's gameplay is that... Oh, no you don't! All right, what are we doing, Lydia? Another spider, really? Victory for now. All right. Um I was actually having a pretty regular problem trying to get the luggage to open. It got to where I had to quit out of the game and restart the game. Or reload my game save. Just to get the luggage to operate. So basically what I did was I took him back to Dragon's Reach and made Dragon's Reach his new home. Yes, my lady? And so if ever I need to... Uh, store anything in the luggage. I've got the... Well, good grief, where is it? I do have the magic spell. Yes, my lady? So I can always access the, lug the luggage if I want to collect something or, you know, if I want to store anything. So, basically, that's what I had to do because it was becoming pretty common that uh, he wouldn't open up. And, in fact, not only could I get him to not open up so I could store stuff, I couldn't even access any of the other dialogue points in the dialogue menu. And so it just kind of started to get on my nerves. And, uh... So now what I basically have to resort to do is just using the access luggage spell. Because he really yes, is... He really is a valuable resource for storage. I mean, he certainly is that, and I didn't want to lose that. But I basically made dragons reach his new home. And so whenever I have to store anything or if I want to collect something, then I'll just use the access luggage spell and uh, do it that way. I mean, it was kind of nice having, having him follow around too, but also, especially in those cavernous areas, he could actually get underfoot a bit too much and even block some of the uh, tunnel area. That was actually becoming a common problem as well. 
So I basically just had to leave him someplace else and I decided to I decided to make dragons reach his home. Lydia, where did you go to? Crud, now I need to heal up. They'd follow me this far. Crud. I'm dead. Jeez. I'm dead. Well, how far are you guys going to follow me? You didn't follow me anywhere near this far last time. Jeez. Good grief. For Pete's sake. They didn't get anywhere near to following me this, this distance. Where's my... Spriggan, if this is the way you want to do it, I guess. Where is he at? Jeez. Stupid wolf on my tail. Really? Crud. And that stupid spriggan again. Do they like water? I don't know if they like water or not, but. Well, can I jump up? Please. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, let's do a poison here. I thought I was dead there for a second. Can't get my arrows back, all right. So you're going uh, heavy weapons, Lydia? All right. Still here. That's fine with me, just... Uh, I am sworn to carry your burdens. I thought you were going... Sword and shield there for a while. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to need to boost... Boost this. And enchant it at some point. Is there anything else you need? Uh, did you kill that other Spriggan? Because I got this one. But... I don't know what happened to this, because there was two of them. I don't know what happened to the other one. Which, by the way... I don't know... Was that this place where those Spriggans were located? Looks like it's... Some sort of a shrine area. Yeah, I think they were up here, weren't they? 